Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Welcome. <clears throat> welcome to Creative Crafting by Katie. Come on in this morning. I know I messed up my time. I said the wrong time last night that I was going to be on. So I hope you guys got my correction post and I hope you guys are able to be here. If you're on the replay, don't forget to uh, uh, let, comment and let me know that you're here. Comment now, please. Let me know that you're here. And good morning, Raven. Um, my goodness. So, yeah, let me know you're here. If you're new, I can't, can't even remember my own spiel this morning. <laughs> hey, Sandy. Anyways, you know the deal, right? You know the deal. And don't forget there is a replay um, fast forward option. Yay, Deborah made it. Hey, good morning, Dana. Okay, so Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Acorn. Hey, Sharon. Dollar Tree mat, um, pot pad. I just skinned it. I took it off with a pair of scissors. I've done, I have done all of this this morning in the last um, 10 or 15 minutes. I had some other idea in mind of what I was going to do with it and I just stand here and then my mind changes. So I took it off and I, I cut it a little bit more um, around the shape and got rid of the green. If you don't want to do that, you can totally leave it. Whatever you want. I even got, because some of it looks like leaves. So anyways. Good morning. Hey, Patricia. Hello, Sharon. And then there's some Dollar Tree acorns. I'm possibly going to use one of those. I'm possibly going to use this cute little ribbon. This one's from last year, I think, from the Dollar Tree. Okay. So in the meantime, let's get started. <coughs> All right. <laughs> you guys are brave souls waking up. I hope... I hope it's not just for me. I mean, it would be awesome, but that, that's some dedication. Okay. I have some chocolate brown. I think I want to actually stain with this today as opposed to my antique wax, but whatever you want to do. I need to clean up my mess from last night. <laughs> I crafted twice yesterday, so I'm like, I got a lot going on here. Let's just see how this is going to look. Oh yeah. It's a nice, nice dark deep chocolate brown if you were to do the other stain it would not be this dark acorns are pretty dark so baby wipe get your edges and we're gonna have to get our little our little um our little boards here that show through the front make sure you get those All right, everybody having a good morning? Up and at it already? <laughs> oh, yes, uh, Crystal. Awesome. Yeah, I know, the time change. Patricia here is um, from the UK, so that's the same thing. I try to craft in the morning once a week. It's just a quick little craft, and it's usually like a Wednesday or Tuesday. I don't know. But I appreciate you watching the replays because I do notice that. <laughs> oh, thank you, Amy. Okay, so the glue on here from... <clears throat> from it being manufactured is giving me a little fit in here. So I'm going to have to go back in here, I think, with a, possibly with a paintbrush. Let's see. Maybe I can make it work. Yeah, I think I can do it. I think I, I think I can. I think I can. I know I can. I know I can. Thank you, everybody. My shirt, a follower, a follower of mine sent me, sweet follower sent me this shirt I'm gonna hit the edges even though they're they're pretty decent anyways they're a little bit darker from the laser cut okay miss the spot all right looks pretty good huh so there's that oh no <clears throat> I hope you guys can get my connection 
Not much, Margo. Just painted. <laughs> Use my chocolate brown Anna Griffin paint to, to do that. It looks pretty good, I think. The wood grain's coming out nice. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Sandy. I gave it a little fluff this morning. Off to work, so I'll probably pull it back in a ponytail. It's going to be so hot and humid today. Even though I'm in an office, I just, it still gets hot. I keep the air up high because it goes on every 10 minutes. I'm like, and it's really loud and I can't stand it. <laughs> it's like, stop. These edges here, are just a little light. <clears throat> okay. Now let's take the sunflower that we got from our little Dollar Tree hot pad. Try to go out and come back in. I, I don't know. I can't do anything about it now that I'm live. I, I won't stop the video. So I apologize if, if I'm off kilter. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> okay. So let's get this placed here. And... I want to make sure that when I go to slice through it, I'm not slicing too much. I think I like that. I do want to put my slats back in there. Okay, so I'm going to use a fabric Mod Podge because it's thicker and it's going to hopefully do what I need to do. Hopefully. Oh, that's, I forgot I threw all my other brushes away. <laughs> okay, we'll just go with one of these. Mod Podge your board. Yeah, a fabric Mod Podge is what I'm using. I'm almost out. I better put that on the list. Oh, darn, I have to go back to the store. <laughs> oh, thank you, everybody. Oh, good. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, sometimes it's just on an individual or a few people, it's... I know I don't have it all, I just wanted to um, get an idea of where I need to put some, so we'll just fold it back and get, get it put where we want it. You could also do the back of your flower if you, you wanted to instead. Hopefully, we'll get, when I slice it, is what I'm hoping, down these slats that it will not mess up the sunflower, the integrity of it. <laughs> All right, let me dry this, and then I will Mod Podge over the top of it. <clears throat> it is from the Dollar Tree. It's a hot pad. I am in Michigan, the Metro Detroit area, Janet. Don't forget to spread the love if you like what you see. Also, don't forget to hit the, you know what to do. Come on back. <clears throat> oh, that's cool, Sandy. Yeah, sunflowers are really cool. My daughter loves them as well. She has a, f a vase of fake ones. And on the floor at the side of her dresser, right when you walk in her door, she's got a nice bouquet of them in a, in a vase there. She pulled them things out a long time ago. She was ready to go. So this is much more stickier of a Mod Podge than your regular Mod Podge. If you don't have this, go ahead and use your regular one. I just happened to come across this hot pad. Um, and I was like, I'm just going to grab it. I don't really know if I'm going to want it. But... Oh, yeah, Mara. Our... Missed, your name went away. Sorry, I mispronounced it. Maria, I think it was, and I said Mara. 
Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Okay, I'm gonna Mod Podge over this. The reason I'm doing this is I want it to be stiff. You could probably use a spray adhesive too if you wanted to. I did buy some of that um, Dollar Tree spray adhesive. Has anybody ever used that? I have not used the, the Dollar Tree spray adhesive. So I thought, why the heck not? Oh, no, 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 no. Get your little self back in place. Man, I am nitty gritty in the bottom of the barrel here. <laughs> nitty gritty in the bottom of the barrel. Oh, do you? I Yeah, I've seen the dishes before. Weren't the dishes something they brought out last year, possibly? I could have swore I seen them last year. I actually bought, last year, they have um, a bunch of fall dishes. I think it was. And I got some of those. Okay. I don't like how this is, is raised up here. It's coming up. The board is messed up. <clears throat> well, there you go, Bonnie. Good morning, Jennifer. Okay, let's put some good heat on here. Ow. Oh, really, Pam? Okay. I didn't know sunflowers and acorns went together, and I said, I don't really care. They're both fall. I'm rolling with it. <laughs> Well, here you go. Make her an acorn sunflower. Or you can stuff these. Open a little slit in the back. Stuff it with um, pillow stuff, stuffing, paper, anything like that. Slice it back on. Makes it thicker. And then put a cute little bow on it and hang it from a doorknob or a... No, this is not a shirt I sell. This is a shirt that one of my followers sent me. No. The acorn I just painted, if that's what you're asking. With a baby wipe, I used a stain. Good morning, Lori. Um, chocolate brown is what I used for the background. And I stained it on with the baby wipe so it wouldn't be super dark. It's darker than your normal, like, antique stain, but this one is <clears throat> um, a little, just, it's, it's called chocolate brown. Okay. I guess, I'm hoping this is going to work. Maybe my X-Acto knife. I don't know if it's dry enough or stiff enough yet. I might have to use scissors. <clears throat> Because this slot is pretty decently large, we can we can scissor it, and then I can probably go back in there with some Mod Podge and push it down in to the hole. Do you guys have any plans for today? <clears throat> I mean, I'm working, so you know, there's that. There's all that fun going on. <laughs> I mean, come on, ladies. Don't be jealous. Don't be hating on me because I get to go to work. <sighs> yes, of course, Pam. Anything like that. That's all. You got it, girl. You know what I do when I give my dogs toys? I used to. I, I haven't lately, but um, around Christmas time when they get a bunch of toys, I, when the stuffing comes out of it, because that's all Sadie does, is she, she tears it apart in five seconds to get the little squeaker out. Um, I would pick it up and put it in a bag, and then I would craft with it. <laughs> Why in the heck not? 
The scissors work really well. I don't know if you could get a fat pair in there. Or if it's really dry, the X-Acto knife. It's still pretty tacky though, right now. You can see that there's that line, the fine line right now. Jeez, <clears throat> Jan. Don't be jealous of Jan either, ladies. <laughs> okay. Let me get something smaller. I don't know what this thing is. You paint with it, I think. <laughs> you ever do that? You just buy stuff because, oh, yeah, I'm going to get that. I might need that. Dollar Tree sells a whole package of plastic ones. I'm going to come in here and cut just a thin line out of here. This is what I'm cutting out. <clears throat> Small little piece here. I've never uh, used the hot pad. I use fabric to Mod Podge. So this would be a little bit different scenario if you were using a piece of paper because I think you'd be able to be able to have a little easier time with it. It's not the prettiest chop. Good thing I cut this out before we got started. I'm just looking for a little bit of that. That line to show. See how that's coming along right there? I've got it cut out and there I don't. And it's not straight. You guys are never going to notice. And I don't think I would do this beforehand because I think it would be a little bit trickier. I don't know. I don't know. You could try to do it beforehand. Cut your slices and line them up. I'm not, I'm not that good at, at that. I'm not going to lie. That's just not my forte. I cannot. I can't cut and measure <laughs> properly. It never works out for me. So. But you do you. Try whatever you want. Let's see if these, yeah, those are, those are too big. Okay. And then we can come back in here with some Mod Podge and my little tool and see if we can get rid of that. I want to use regular Mod Podge to try to get it to sit, stay down. But you get the idea, right? You could also let this dry and try just using an X-Acto knife, 
once it's really good and dry and stiff, you might be able to go in there and just slice it with that. I'm just, you know, speeding it along here with some heat and it's still tacky. Tacky to the touch. Oy, once I get to that little board crossing there, <laughs> it gets me messed up. I know it's so it's so so much pressure here <laughs> all right just one more little section and we're gonna move on to just a little bow on the top You could do sunflower um, bow. You could just do yellow or orange or, or kind of match up what's going on in here. But I kind of thought this owl bow was adorable. Alex, thank you for the stars. Um, Alex will be home sharing on Sunday. Thank you for asking. <laughs> okay, so there's that. There's that. Good morning, Kelly. This little guy here, I'm just going to tack him down around the back. Put a, a dab of hot glue. There we go. Okay. So we've got that. I'm going to try to do an acorn as well. So what I'm going to do with that is usually... The one is usually a different color than the other, right? Isn't one side? Well, anyways, I'm going to use two different, I'm going to stain it in two different manners. Okay, I'm going to use just the antique wax around the edge. We'll have to come in here with a a paintbrush because there's that void otherwise and it's not letting my finger get in there and around the bottom here there we go what would be cute is if you had some bark Do I have any I can take off of something? Let me see if I have a piece of wood over here. Oh, I have bark. Actual piece of bark. Let me see. You know how it kind of looks like bark on the top of the acorn? If it was thinner, maybe. Let me see if I can shave off a piece. Darn it. That would have been so cute. Yes, the acorns are from Dollar Tree. I don't have any acorns around here. I'm gonna start looking though. I'm just gonna start going different neighborhoods. <laughs> I'm gonna stalk everybody. Come into your neighborhood. Listen, Sharon, this chick's got the weirdest things sitting around here. You know, what did I, oh, it's from the birdhouse that I made. 
The remember the bark birdhouse that I I did. I don't know that that's gonna stay. Anyways, if you have something really thin, that would be cute. But I don't. So you know, I have the thickest bark that God made, and that's just not working today. So now that I've messed it up with the glue. Oh, it's called a five-in-one tool. It's like a putty knife. I only bought it because it's got that little corner piece on there. I don't even know where it's from. Maybe we can give it a different look with this brown. Okay, there you go. That'll do. That will do. <laughs> I could clean your yard. I come over and clean your yard. I don't care. Let's get that mess out of the way. Try my paint. It looks pretty close. Some of the acorns are light like that. We just want it to stand out. All right, here we go with my finger bow, ladies. Let's do this. It's harder to do when it's a one-sided, so you just got to kind of flip it around if, ow, if um, it winds up not being visible, the print. Twist it. Oh, it just slid off my finger. <laughs> These can be a challenge some days, ladies. I'm not going to lie. They can... Stay on my finger, would ya? You just have to talk to it. You have to show them who's boss. Oh boy, that's because I'm trying to keep it going, um, trying to keep it going all in the same direction. I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to do what I normally do and then fix it after. Poor Hunter's up there walking around. He wouldn't go in the room with my daughter. And I closed the door so Sadie would stay in there. And I can hear him pacing around up there. Poor thing. He won't come downstairs with me. I don't know why. All right. It's a little loose. Okay, there we go. So we'll just turn that this way. Tidy it up. There we go. Got, just wanted my loop to get out. So we have our cute little, our cute little bow here. I'm using it because I like the colors. Plus it's cute. Everything can be different, right? Just simple, simple, simple. Hot glue it down, and then I'm going to put the acorn in there. I was just going to put the acorn in the center. If you don't have acorns, you could do a, a cute little sunflower from the Dollar Tree. Things like that you could use as well. Pretty plain and simple. And I took the uh, the hanger that came with it off. What would be cool is if you had if you had a, a man in your life that you could uh, con into drilling you some holes through those acorns. 
You could make the cutest little acorn. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to take those to work with me and see if I can get my brother on his drill press to do that and see if it would crack. Just got to go find you a brother. <laughs> All right, this is what I've got for this morning. I'm not bringing them nothing, Sharon. They're working at the property, clearing out all these trees and stuff, so they're not even around. So quiet and peaceful at work. There we go, ladies. Simple, simple, simple. No, I don't, but I don't have the tool. <laughs> I don't have the drill press. That's why I'm going to go to my brother. What do you think? You like it? I like it. I'm going to put one of these in my pocket. If I see him later, I'm going to get on him. <laughs> All right, ladies. Thanks for hanging with me this morning. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow if you guys want to come see me tomorrow night. I don't know why the angry faces. I didn't see it. I, who knows? That's okay. If they don't like me, that's fine. All right, ladies. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all soon. Thanks for hanging with me this morning. Have a wonderful day. Bye.